particularly young dating age female populace. Well, if people's lives aren't working, they're going to do uh, increasingly bizarre things to try to feel okay inside. They might d devote inordinate hours to live streaming. All right, I haven't, I haven't spent so much time do doing live stream because I'm just, you know, so emotionally mature and got my life completely sorted out. You know, part of it is a an attempt to try to, you know, capture the normal amount of love and human connection that people are able to build families and and be normal have but because i i for much of my life wasn't able to build that sufficiently i went seeking for attention as my substitute for normal human connection and, and love so i think two-thirds of people are just fine right two-thirds of people when they are mistreated they distance themselves from people who mistreat them and when they're treated well Right, they're more open to forming stronger bonds with people who, who treat them well. But about a third of people are just not calibrated, right? So that they, 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 they go after people who mistreat them. They, they mistreat people who are good to them. They, they're, they're afraid of genuine human connection, so they just stay home and, say, create a, an alternate life online. So I think two-thirds of people are just fine that they are – what in psychological terms you'd call securely attached, but about a third of the population are highly vulnerable to addictions. They're anxiously attached. They're avoidantly attached. They don't tend to create community and bonds. They're uncomfortable from, from connecting with other people. The, the greatest source of energy is not coffee or Adderall or Modafinil. The greatest source of energy is, is being on the same page with other people, creating a rhythm with other people and getting energy from your interactions with other people. Like you should you're getting energy when you say good morning to the receptionist at work, when you say hello to your boss and to your co-workers, when you see people in, in morning minion at synagogue, or when you get a Bible study at church, or when you go to your uh, special dining club or your sports bar, and you should be getting energy from all these connections. If you're not able to build that kind of energy from the people in your life, there's something miscalibrated. And if it doesn't manifest itself in in promiscuity or in drug abuse or in alcohol abuse or excessive, you know, binging on, on Netflix, it will come out in some highly dysfunctional way. So it all comes down to, you know, really are people able to bond with other people, particularly, you know, get married and have kids. That's the, the normal way for, for a happy life. And most people's need for adventure and excitement is met by having children. And everything that people use to substitute for the excitement of having children is usually just a pale imitation of the 